All right, we're gonna shoot an escape from modified Kesakatame. We're here in side control. My opponent switches his hips. So the first thing we have to make sure of is that this elbow is on the ground. The other hand comes over and either controls the near collar or the far shoulder. I'm gonna drive into him. I'm gonna drive, my angle's not straight at him. It's actually gonna be a little bit over so that I get my temple on the mat. Once my temple's on the mat, I can retract my hip to put my knee and elbow together. And then I wait for my moment and extend to get back to guard. So without him, let me show you some common mistakes people make. The first one is they keep this elbow off the mat when they try and turn, and it prevents them from getting all the way on their side with their hip off the mat. So make sure, boom, this elbow is on the mat. You're gonna drive with your feet. So your hips off the mat, your elbows underneath you. And then the next mistake they make is they try and force their elbow and knee in. No, 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 look at my hips. I retract them and that puts these together. This leg is gonna help push. This knee across his hips is gonna help push. And we straighten away. So come back in. And then I'll talk about feet issues and so forth. So we're here in side control. He switches, elbow on the mat. Collar, cross, shoulder. I drive onto my head. So I'm kind of, I'm not bumping into him. I'm bumping him up to about 11 o'clock. My head's at 12 and this is one. I retract to close this space. Once this is closed, get on top. He's gonna try and circle, right? So I use this foot, look at this foot right here, this one. Circle, circle. To stay with him, he can't beat me. And then they elongate. So let's talk about foot mistakes here. The first foot mistake people make is they're on their toe, this leg's flat, or they have both feet like this. The way we want our feet is the one that's away from him is flat. The one that's near him is on the blade. That way we push, we're in this position where we have hip mobility to retract and elongate. The second foot mistake they make, come on in mom. We're here inside, so he switches. Boom, I do everything perfect. I have blade, flat, I try. I bring my knee in and they do this. Like I'm trying to hug him. Circle. I can't follow him if I do that. But if I keep this foot on the mat and he goes to circle, look at that. I can stay with him and wait in order to elongate. Come back in. Switch. The next mistake that people make when they're in this situation is they grab this lapel. The the one that's closer to the ceiling. But what happens is, is when I extend, the gi comes off, look at that, and I get all that slack. So you can either grab the near lapel, because there will be no slack as I drive, or you can put your hand on the shoulder, elbows in tight, retract, connect, elongate, all right? Never have this elbow off the mat when you're doing this escape, lay on your back. I'm gonna make it very simple to see why. Go ahead, just turn toward me. He can't, right? Turn toward me, oh, look at that. You will limit yourself if you keep your elbow on the hip. So if I turn this way, and you keep this elbow up off the mat on my hip, and you try and turn in, right, try and turn in, there's only so far you can go. Now, drop the elbow, land on your temple, turn. Yes, look how far he could turn. All right, this is about getting on your side, and then retraction, elongation, and that's how we get out. All right.